everybody my dog mom here so this is what my process is when i first get a new letter so i have my charts here i have my baby scale i have my collars and i have my new puppies so this is a litter of four frenchie puppies there's one boy and three girls and this is how i start off every litter with um how they come in i start off by weighing them to get their starting birth weight and then I track it on my chart here. So this chart I actually made, I created it, and I also give this away to the owners when they <clears throat> pick up the puppies at the end of their whelping service. And we have Khaleesi here. She is a new mommy. Hi, Khaleesi. And then those are her puppies. So this is how I get the onboarding started with my new litters. So first I'm going to make sure my scale is set to <clears throat> ounces and I want to set it to ounces first because uh, the ounces is going to better track it for me personally as a starting weight. Um, so I have this column right here. This column is where um, I'm going to put the, put the collar color and then of course their birth weight. So, of course, I'm doing the ounces right now just because when it goes from week one all the way to week five, um, it's going to let me know how much they've gained. Since my scale goes to pounds and ounces, I'll be able to gauge how much they weighed um, in a week or so. But I would say the best way to track the puppy's growth daily is in grams. Um, definitely get you a scale that has grams. Don't always go by the ounces. And the reason why is because you want to be sure that you're tracking their growth exponentially. So that way you can track if the puppies over here are, um, gaining weight, if they're losing weight. So that way, you know, you have a precise amount versus ounces, which may be, um, not as accurate and you won't be able to see the weight loss if they have the weight loss in their growth. So we are going to get the first puppy. So the first puppy, let's go with this one. This is a, what is this? This is a girl. So this is a little girl. So let's find her collar. I'm gonna close this door so that way these puppies don't get cold. And for those wondering, I have my incubator set to 87. Uh, it's currently at 85 right now because I did open the door, but it is set to 87 because they were just dropped off. So let's go ahead and weigh her. And I think she would look really good with, let's do a, what do you think? I'll do a yellow collar on this girl. So my collars, they're pretty simple. I just pull this little bead down right here and then just place it over the little puppy's neck. So they make a bunch of different collars. These are the ones I like just because they're disposable. They do get dirty, so that way um, I can change them out. You can cut this if you want. I like to keep it long during picture time because that way it's easier to show the puppies like this what color they are. So that's why I keep the little flag long for that. So let's go ahead and weigh her in ounces. So her starting weight is 10 ounces. So her starting weight is 10 ounces. I'm going to put her back in the incubator and her collar color was yellow. So I'm going to take my little sheet here and I'm going to write yellow. She is 10, 10 ounces, 10 ounces. I messed up a little bit, but 10 ounces for that. Now the next one, the next one, let's see, let's go with this one. 
So this is a boy, so I'm gonna save this one for last. And then we'll go with our little platinum female here. So we'll go with our platinum female. So her color, let's give her a pretty, let's give her a pretty pink color. This is a hot pink color. So we'll give her a pretty pink color. And then let's go ahead and weigh her. So she also weighs 10 ounces. So I'm going to put her back and simply log her birth weight. So her birth weight is pink. And she also weighs 10 ounces. And I'm going to do this with every single puppy. I usually do this with every puppy that I have every litter I have they go through this process and also when I'm doing it I'm also inspecting the puppies to make sure you know everyone's good and the doctors didn't miss anything as far as um you know when they're removing the fluid from the lungs if I can still hear that there's still fluid in the lungs this is a good time to remove it so this is the next female so I'm going to go ahead and probably give her the I'll give her the purple one. She looks like a little purple girl. So we'll give her the purple collar. And we'll start her way. This is also 10 ounces. So far, this is a nice, healthy litter. 10 ounces. I'll put her back. And then now it's time to log it on my chart here. So I'll go purple. She also weighs 10 ounces. <clears throat> and then the last one is the boy. Now I'm going to close this because these are the girl colors. And I'm going to pull out the boy colors. So of course, we're gonna go with the boy. I'm gonna go with my blue because it's just, it's giving, that's what it is. It's giving blue, so let's go with blue. For a handsome man. You guys can probably hear the puppies in the back. So this is our boy, our only boy. And my scale, for some reason, it uh, is unbalanced. So I'm just going to balance it out, push tear, tar, whatever it's called. And he's actually the smallest, so he weighs 8 ounces. So eight and a half he weighs eight and a half ounces so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure that this little boy gets as much feeding time and nursing as possible because i want him to be consistent with his sisters and i want to make sure that his growth is on track with his sisters um, he will get bigger as he grows uh, just because boys are a little bit bigger but also look at this this is his foot um you see how his foot kind of curves outwards this is why i also do this because this foot right here is curved outwards so that means that i'm gonna have to slowly massage the foot like this to kind of get it to turn back to normal so you notice how this foot right here is completely fine but this one kind of faces out so i'm going to have to slowly rotate it just to make sure that it grows perfectly fine and that the foot doesn't have any abnormalities as he grows. So I'm just going to rub it like this, just rotate it forward um, throughout his growth process um, to make sure that, you know, the foot does grow exactly like it needs to. But he weighed eight and a half ounces. So I'm going to put him back. And then I'm also going to write his starting weight down. And since he is the only male, I'm just going to write M and I will put eight and a half ounces. So now that the puppies all have got their starting weights right here, I have mama right here. She's ready to nurse them. I'm going to put these puppies on so that way um, I know 
you know, who's suckling great, who needs more time. Obviously now we know that the blue still needs more time, but I wanna make sure that everyone's suckling reflex is good. So I will go over that in another video, but this is how the onboarding process works. And then for the mamas, the mama's onboarding process, I have a whole chart that I like to use for my moms that I actually created. And I'll go over that in another video for you, but it basically just tracks her growth as far as um, her healing process goes, how she is with her puppies maternally, um, how her C-section's healing, her C-section incision site, if she's hungry, if she's thirsty, how many water she's drank, she's drank, things like that. So I'll show you guys that in another video, but I'm gonna now feed these puppies. Say bye, Khaleesi. Bye, mommy. Let's get you fed. Let's get your puppies fed, okay?